with another banger. We're going to be talking about Dogecoin, ticker symbol D-O-G-U-S-D for Dogecoin analysts, predictions, new levels I'm looking at, buying level, support level, resistance levels, and also stuff you need to know before looking to trade, uh, I was about to say Bitcoin, before looking to get in Dogecoin. Yes, we are on a bigger down movement, okay? This was kind of expected after the news. We didn't have any other news, right? We didn't have Elon saying we're about to accept Dogecoin in February, or we didn't have anything saying that maybe he will. That was the whole hype of Elon getting Twitter. That was all this hype right here, right? But remember, I told you guys, if nothing else comes out, it's probably just going to keep trending lower and lower and lower. No, I don't plan on selling in Dogecoin. I'm holding it to a dollar. I don't care how long it takes. I'll just be holding it. I'm treating it like a savings account. So any money I put in here, I just don't worry about it, okay? I put it in there and I just let it go. Also, be careful what money you have on exchanges because it seems like it's just not good. Okay, so be careful of that. Make sure you have your stuff in storage wallets. Now, Dogecoin DLG USD, let's go over it. First, let me show you guys the bigger chart. Take these levels off, right? We had that big push up, secondary push up, and now we're just falling back down. I do believe there's a big buying level at the bottom side, but we have a little more levels to kind of go through before that happens. So I will give you guys that level, but first, Let's give you guys these current levels we need to be looking at. So I had a buying pressure level and a support level, and both of those levels broke. So we had a support level here, buying level here. Broke the support, came to the buying pressure level, tried to show buying pressure, right? But kind of stalled out, and then it actually broke the buying level and tested the buying level as resistance three times. Look how many times it hit that. Let me zoom in. Look how many times it hit that buying level as a resistance. That's usually bearish, right? So I did not buy there. I am looking to buy some more Dogecoin, but for now... We're taking the buying level off. Don't forget to smash the like button. Subscribe if you are new. Also, let's get the video over 30 likes. Let's get the video over 50 likes if you guys want another up Doge, uh, Dogecoin update later tonight, depending on how Dogecoin moves. We have a support at about 71. I'm going to put it at about 71. So 0 0.071. That's where we're going to put our support level at. So if this breaks, I will update you guys. Do not worry. And then we have a resistance level on the upside right here at about 0 0.076. That's going to be our resistance level. So these are the main two levels we need to be watching. If we can get some breakage above here, that might be a sign to kind of trend us up. And I'll be looking for prices to go in this area here, which will actually be a nice game. I'll be looking to buy some Dogecoin up there maybe for a nice little swing or so. But I think if this resistance level breaks here, we will start to see that higher pressure up movement. If we break the support level, I'm going to have to update you guys on a new support level. That's why I say get the video 50 likes and smash the like button and subscribe because we're going to have to keep updating supports because what we want is we want price to hold support and actually start building up to higher prices. Right now, it's kind of just breaking through all supports. Had a big drop here, big drop here, then stalls out, big drop, stalls out, big drop here stalls out big drop and now we're calling that stall out phase two so it's mimicking the same thing that it has for like the past weeks so nothing too crazy going on just kind of just dropping 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 so we want to find where it builds support i believe once we find that big support and then we start to get that upper movement we're going to see a nice upper retracement on dogecoin so thank you guys for watching the video always remember no second base in a buyer so anything just for educational purposes only so do not trade anything you see or hear in the video i right, catch you guys on that next one bye